Three earthquakes shook the Phoenix metro area and surrounding cities last night. The separate quakes ranged in magnitude from a 3.2 to a 4.1, and they were centered near Black Canyon City. There were no reports of serious damage as a result, but experts say larger earthquakes are possible in Arizona and even in Tucson. Not in your sides, Ricky Mitchell joins us now with more on what we could see in southern Arizona. Yeah, Guy, every time Arizona experiences an earthquake, the Arizona Geological Survey says they get calls from people who think earthquakes in Arizona are extremely rare. And it turns out that's not exactly true. Last year, a 5.3 magnitude earthquake shook Duncan, Arizona, and a couple earthquakes were also felt near Sedona. But what about closer to Tucson? While the internet mostly joked about last night's three earthquakes near Phoenix, experts say damaging earthquakes are a real possibility in our state. Arizona is an active place. We, we have earthquakes. Mike Conway with the Arizona Geological Survey says earthquakes in Arizona are not that rare. In fact, they record more than 100 a year. We typically don't see those large magnitude earthquakes, but I should say that we have seen them in the past. In 1887, more than 50 people were killed when a 7.2 magnitude earthquake hit south of Douglas. It also damaged the San Javier mission. This is it right here. Closer to home, Conway says a fault on the western side of the Santa Rita Mountains has the potential to produce a strong earthquake. We would conclude that this is capable of magnitude 6 to magnitude 6.5 earthquake, which would certainly rattle Tucson pretty well and probably do some damage out here. He says an earthquake of that magnitude would likely mean substantial structural damage to older buildings and we would feel up to 10 seconds of the ground shaking. We try and remind people if they feel the ground shaking, drop cover and hold on. That's the best thing you can do. So the big question, of course, is when could an earthquake like this happen? Well, because the Santa Rita Fault System isn't studied as much as, say, the San Andreas Fault, it's nearly impossible for experts to predict when an earthquake could take place. But Mike Conway says one sign could be if we experience any four shocks in that area, so magnitude three or four earthquakes, that could be indicative of something larger to come. Stella? Ricky, thank you.